Yo, what's up, family? Earlier, I got cut off when I was trying to do a little study with you guys talking about um, God is truth and the father of lies. We're talking about, you know, basically the to not lie, to not be a liar, because you are of the father of lies, which is Satan, if you are that way. I'm going to read a couple more scriptures, and we'll get into talking about the father of lies and why God is truth and also the cure for lying. Psalms 107, I mean 101, 7 family. I will not not allow deceivers to serve in my house and liars will not stay in my presence. Like he, he ain't even going to put up with you. Like if you're a false witness towards others or you dramatize and you lie on people for your own glory and to save your own butts. Like even if it's little white lies, little white lies lead up to big lies family. He don't want you lying at all. If you're going to follow Christ, you are to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. Jeremiah 17, 19 through 10. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who could know it? I, I, the Lord, search the heart and test the mind to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his deeds. God is truth, family. Romans 3, 4. Of course not. Even if everyone else is a liar, God is true. As the scriptures say about him, you will be proved right in a way of what you say and what you will win your case in court. Titus 1-2 This truth gives them confidence that they have eternal life, which God, who does not lie, promised them before the world began. That's right, family. Even before this world was created, like he already knew everything that he had planned. Jesus 14, 6, Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one can come to the Father except through me. The Father of lies. Yay. Yeah. She's saying hello. Say hello. The Bible reveals Satan as the original liar family. Genesis chapter 3, 1 through 4, if you want to read that. He is the master of deception who leads people away from the truth. By contrast, Jesus Christ is shown to be the truth, and his gospel is the truth. John 8, 44. You are, you are of your father, the devil, and your will is to do your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks out of his own character, for he is a liar and the father of lies. 1 John 2, 22. Who is the liar, but who he who denies that Jesus is the Christ? This is the Antichrist, he who denies the Father and the Son. See, there will be a lot of people walking around talking about they believe in God, but they don't believe in the Son, which is Yeshua, Jesus Christ. And they have the Antichrist spirit within them. Don't be deceived by such people. I've, I've had people like that come at me and still come at me like that. you got to stand bold for Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only way, family. Don't listen to Oprah and all these Hollywood stars talking about there's many paths to heaven. No, there is one way. There is one path to get to heaven. And if you don't seek it and go down that narrow path, then you're on the broad way, which is destruction. And it's wide. I mean, there's many people on it, many good people. That's, that's the sad thing. It's like you can live your whole life doing things that you think and think you have a good heart. But to God... It, it looks totally different. So when people say they're good, I always think, no, nah, there's not one of us is good. Not even one. It says that in the word of God, too. There's not even one of us are good. But there's a cure for lying, and we'll get to that in a minute. Let's see. Where were we? We were at 1 Timothy, Timothy chapter 4, 1 through 2. The Spirit... The Spirit clearly says that in the latter times, some would abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. Such teachings come through hypocritical liars whose consciences have been seared as with a hot iron. So, you know, family, be aware of who you're listening to nowadays. There are so many false teachers and preachers, and people get so prideful when you try to correct them. Some people will actually humble themselves, but man, there's so many out there. These big mega churches, you really, really got to stay away from these people. You know, pray for them, move on, but what they're teaching is false teaching. It's like prosperity preaching. They're not teaching the world, the real sound doctrine. It's, it's like it's deceiving spirits, you know. Their teachings are not, it's just not good. 
have discernment, family. It's very important. Pray for discernment if you don't feel like you have it. Just pray for the Lord to give you that gift, you know. Pray for Him to give you the gift of discernment so you can discern the difference between a false teacher and a real teacher. Um, but anyway, back to the cure of lying. The cure for lying is telling the truth, you know. I mean, it's simple. And God's Word, family, is the truth. Followers of Christ must speak the truth in love. That's, that's the key. That's important. You can't speak it out of hate. There's so many people that will use the word of God and use scriptures for hate. I mean, and they have no idea what they're